The next two instructions in the group called comparison instructions, the less than or equal to and the greater than or equal to are only slightly different than the first two. In the first two, less than or greater than, the value had to be less than or greater than. In this case, it can be less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. You'll see the difference. Same logic as before. Rung zero gives us a timer data type, T40, that accumulates from zero. In this case, I stopped it at five. You have two rungs. One has a less than or equal to. The other has a greater than or equal to. And they are controlling, as before, output zero and one. So as we allow the timer data type to accumulate, when the value is equal to zero, the the less than or equal to instruction is true, so it turns on output zero. The greater than or equal to instruction, the accumulate is not greater than or equal to three, the current value for source B, so output one is off. If we continue to accumulate when the accumulate is equal to one, that's still less than or equal to three, but not greater than or equal to three. Two is less than three, but not greater than three. Now here's where we deviate from the previous instructions. In the previous instruction, the less than instruction, if it was less than three, it was true. If it equaled three, it was false. But in this case, it's true because the instruction is now a less than or equal to instruction. So output zero is still on. Now, output one also comes on because the greater than instruction was false when it was not greater than three. In other words, if it was three, that's not greater than three. But in this case, it's a greater than or equal to. So when the timer accumulate is equal to three, it is equal to three. So both instructions are true because these are now or equal to instructions. If we continue to accumulate, the less than or equal instruction is false, but the greater than or equal to is still true until we've used up our preset for the accumulate on this timer data type. Now, if you add the results in on the number lines below, notice that we're on from zero, one and two, and three, because we've added the equal qualification on the less than or equal to. Same thing with the greater than or equal to. So now we have an output that's on all the time. Before, when it was less than, and then the next run was greater than, when the accumulate equaled three, neither of the instructions were true, so both outputs were off. In this case, because they're now both equal to three, both outputs are on when the accumulate is equal to three, as you can see here. What would you need to modify in the previous logic using less and greater instructions to, to deliver the identical sequence of outputs energized that you did above with the less than or equal to and the greater than or equal to? You would have to do a less than four and a greater than two and a less than six to get the absolute identical, as you can see here. Now, I didn't actually um, well, I guess I did have you do this in the lab. <laughs>